Forrester going to kick us off here. And they are kicking from left to right as we look at it. So defending the Trent End and in the first half attacking towards those Leicester City supporters away to our right. Andy Reid and Simon Cox are standing over the ball. So we're just waiting the referee, Anthony Taylor, to get this game underway. Forrest, 16 match of beaten Rob brought to an end by League One Sheffield United in the Cup of the weekend, but they'll still point to that a beaten league record, which stretches back a week further than Leicester City. Terrific on beaten run. Here's Greg Halford now with an early switch for Forrest in a right back position. Plays down the right wing. Conchetti with a header. Helped on further by Matty James. But Forrest gets it back with Collins. And now Yara is fouled by Nugent just inside his own half. And Forrest get themselves an early free kick. Yeah, a little niggling foul there from Nugent. Pulling Yara back until he turned away from him. One of those little fouls that annoys you. Because it's deliberate, it's premeditated and... Well, some referees might have just given him a yellow card straight away, so he's in a little bit fortunate there. Yes, so it's a halfway line, right on this near touchline. Flips one down the wing, but Jamal Lassell is there to intercept. Give it Andy Reid in the centre circle. Curls it wide, left for Forrest for Patterson, but then Patterson is dispossessed by the last. Then the lad goes past Reid and is uh, fouled then by Fox. Free kick, about 20 yards inside the Forrest half on their right hand side. They try and get involved in the game straight away and Patterson's first touch there was really poor. Came off him at least two yards and it was a decent ball from Andy Reid. Obviously then it's stolen from him. He's got to make up ground and ends up Fox has to concede the free kick. Well, they've got a chance to get a ball into the penalty area here. Wes Morgan has gone up from defence. Nugent's waiting for it. Edge of the penalty area as well. In it goes and headed away by Colin at 60 yards out for the first quarter of the game on 90 seconds. A difficult one for Collins that because the flight of the ball brought it to a few yards in front of him. Someone flicked it immediately in front of him, so couldn't control his header and had to concede the corner. Which will be taken from between the Trent End and the Brian Club stand. It's a left with an in swinger. Darlow gets a punish on it back out over onto the uh, far side. And uh, uh, Still taking a bit of time, Cox is over there trying to uh, get a tackle in. He and Majewski eventually do dispossess Knockart. And Cox chips it up to the halfway line for Patterson. Back to goal just inside his own half, Patterson. Uh, runs into a bit of trouble with uh, very little support. Knockart gets back and knocks it out of play. Forrest throw, just inside their own half, far side there left. Yeah, Patterson's shown a really good piece of control this time. Total contrast to his first one, so just maybe needed that first touch to settle in. Because that was a superb piece of control to win the throw in. Fox with a throw in for Reed. Back again to Fox. Now plays down the left wing looking for Cox. And he's pushed back. Patterson 25 yards out. Tries to get it to Majewski. Overhits it. Given away to Lloyd Dyer. Back now to Kincheski. Who goes long over the halfway line. Simple header for Danny Collins. He knocks it to his left back. Danny Fox just inside his own half. It's a high one. Down the left wing. But the lap clearance is miles up in the air. And then drops about three feet to his right and out for a forest throw in. 30 yards from the corner flag. Danny Fox is up to take the throw in quickly. Gives it Reed. Reed then tries to get a ball straight down the left to Patterson. It's blocked and it's another throw in on the far side. Halfway inside the left of half. There left. Danny Fox. The only signed on loan in January until the summer. Gets it back again from Reed. And then Reed tries to roll a pass inside to Majewski but gives it away. Played forward by James. Well won by Collins. Gives it Yara. In the centre circle, Yara now looking for a runner, plays it for Halford, who's up for a right back. It's an intriguing pass, he chases with Koczewski, and then Halford slides in, doesn't get the ball, does get Koczewski. And so it's, uh, oh, that's got to smell the ball to go out and get the goal kick to Leicester. Or are they going to force him to take a free kick right near his corner flag? Yes, it'll be a free kick, which Michael is going to take. He has the line for and he'll take a free kick. Fairly near his corner flag in the left back there. A searching goal by Gayara in front of Halford with a full speed. Couldn't manage to stop him going over the goal line, although he slide and trip on the Leicester player shows he was fully committed to trying to do that. Still goalless in the early stages, and there's Colin inside his own half for Forrest. Gives it by Epsky. Good little turn by my Epsky. Then he gives him Reed. Searching one over the top from left to right, trying to get Mackie in down the right wing. Kuchetsky back defending, and they just kick the ball into the A block. And they made sound, and so a Forrest throw. Six yards from the byline, Greg Halford is up to take it. Mackie offering himself as a short option, but he's got Lloyd Dyer for support. So Halford now goes for the throw over the top, trying to get Majewski, ahead of behind by Kuchetsky, and Forrest have their first call. 
a coincidence of searching ball by Andy Reid, so Yara and Reid trying to put the ball beyond Leicester defensively, but a good throw there by Halford has earned a corner kick. Andy Reid is going to take the corner. Ball for it, the Bridgeford end. Greg Halford up, Collins up and Lascelles there as well. There's at least six yard box, it's cleared away at the near post by Danny Drinkwater. So it'll be a forest throw. Reid retrieves the ball quickly, but then decides against taking it to leave it for Greg Halford. Got support from Yara, goes for the throw to Reid instead. Back again to Halford, he gives it by Eskew, and Halford again now towards the byline. Clips across it into the back post, it's not a bad one. Headed back across again towards Mackey, cleared. Reid brings it down, 25 yards out, dead centre, flips the pass through to uh, Hatherton, who is tricked. 25 yards out and a free kick in a very dangerous position for Forrest. Just left of centre, 25 yards out and the Forest fans chanting, Reedy, and they said Forrest have a shooting opportunity. Yeah, that was a flick by Patterson because he knew the tackle was coming in. I thought at first the referee hadn't spotted it, but he was clattered into. Certainly a foul. A late challenge, missed the ball. Patterson, I thought, had taken the worst of it. He was just looking for a little bit of self-preservation there. But he's got a free kick. Good spot for Andy Reid. Yeah, Maeski's over it as well. This is the fact that he's so near the centre. It doesn't really matter whether a right or left under hits it. Reid just has a word with Maeski. When Reid punches it, Reid generally gets it. Six minutes played. And uh, referee just checking that the wall is ten yards back. It looks possibly more than ten, but Reid... Curls it round the wall and Patrick Michael will never look trouble. He goes wide to the left of his post and no problem for him. Yeah, that was a poor one by Andy Reid. Schmeichel's actually stood that side of the goal. I thought he was going to try and bend it to his right hand top corner, but I think he tried to fool the goalkeeper into thinking that's what he was going to do, but Schmeichel kept his ground and then just watched it feel harmlessly well wide of his left hand post. So, one of Andy's best that one, but let's hope that the Irishman is on good form because he's had a fantastic season here so far. Yeah, he's been at the heart of uh, everything Forrest have created, really, over the last few weeks with key players like David Vaughan and Henry, Henry Lansbury missing from the Forest midfield. Much of the onus is on Reid to get Forrest going at times. Here, Leicester have a free kick in front of the two-tier Brian Clough stand on the far side. And a free kick is taken short for Wes Morgan, who's back inside his own half. He leaves it now for Drinkwater, who... Uh, Chips one over the top looking for Vardy, but it's going to drift aimlessly, harmlessly, and out for a Forest goal kick. Seven minutes played on BBC Radio Nottingham and Five Live Sports Extra. David Jackson and John McGovern here. Forest nil, Leicester nil, and even open exchanges. Yes, it is, and uh, this will be the first involvement from the Forest goalkeeper, Carl Darlow, being stated for tonight's match. Uh, he's another one, David, that's had a fantastic season, so. It's nice that, you know, seven minutes have gone by and he's had one punch, but nothing else really to deal with, so... Well, his goal kick here has gone over halfway, but uh, Mackie won the header and certainly directed it into the Leicester City dugout. So, uh, throw for the Foxes. Konchesky, who had a load spell here a few years ago, takes the throw back to Wes Morgan. He goes long down the left wing. Halford with the header edge of his penalty area. Majewski then helps it on further to halfway. Brought down by Vasileski. Vasileski up to James, James then leaving it for Knockhart who was uh, taking it on but bounced off his leg somewhat and into Jamal Lascelles who clears up field now here's uh, Majewski with a little touch, gives it to Yara deep in midfield for Forrest, gives it Reid just ahead of him and he's got Patterson on a run, great ball by Reid for Patterson down the left Patterson now faced by Delang, inside onto his right foot, back out onto his left in again onto his right, Patterson is pushed away by Casper Schmeichel what a terrific bit of skill from Jamie Patterson down the left and he got a great ball through from Andy Reid but he took on Delang three times and then hit a shot right footed and Schmeichel punched it away, eight and a half gone, it remains goalless but that was just lovely to watch from Jamie Patterson. Yeah, he cut inside on his right foot. Dummy to go left, dummy to go right. Did the same again and then did go right. Cut inside, bent it with the inside of his right foot. Strong shot. Lots of his instep on that ball to give it power. But Schmeichel dived to his left and managed to beat it away with both hands. So, good pass from Andy Reid to set him up. But great footwork by Patterson. Here come Leicester though. Lloyd Dyer inside the uh, forest half. Flicks a pass forward to Knockhart, who's assumed a more central position, now wide left for Kaczewski, left edge of the penalty area, back to Dyer, and Halford's gone in, 
on Dyer. Referee says no foul, despite the long look by Dyer to the referee. And it's now to play for a forest throw right by their own corner flag. It was great to see that run by Patterson. Uh, but what a great pass again by Andy Reid. Absolutely yeah. perfect. Yeah, it was right in his path, didn't have to change stride, but then it gives them the balance. And we know he does have good balance and he's got quick feet, so went one way, then the other way until Delac didn't know which way he was going, but then cut inside him. And it was a smart save by Schmeichel. You would say it's at a saveable height, literally shoulder height, diving to his left, but there was enough power in it. Oh, uh, giving the ball away here. Sorry, giving it straight to Delat and Leicester again with Dirk Drinkwater. And now Canocart, 35 yards out, tries a shot, deflects off the uh, feet of Vardy, spins miles up in the air, and uh, drops wide of Carl Darlow's goal. Yeah, just a bit of consternation there for Darlow as that one looped up over him, but watched it very, very carefully, just in case the deflection was going to take it on target. Ted gone. Forrest nil, Leicester nil. And Carl Darlow, once again, with this goal kick from uh, in front of a packed Trent end at the city ground this evening. Uh, Wes Morgan and uh, Naki both go up the ball. It drops over both of them at the line of the uh, Simon Cox was then fouling Paul Koncheski. He's uh, firstly unrecognisable from when he was at Forest because he's got hair these days. It's a different man entirely. So he's on loan here a few years back, 2011. Usually, usually shave off all your hair to disguise yourself, but he's done it the opposite <laughs> way. Jasper Spikel's come out of his penalty area to uh, take this free kick. Former North County goalkeeper, just over the treads, long he goes to the edge of the Forest penalty area. Collins does it well to win that header away from Nugent, and now to play for a throw in far side. Level with the edge of the Forest penalty area. And the lap is up from defence to take it. Can knock on a few yards behind him, instead he throws to uh, Matty James. James and the last exchange passes, and now back for Knockhart, 35 yards out, under pressure from two, manages to keep possession, Brickwater, and then down the right hand side, here's Nugent, right edge of the penalty area, uh, takes on one, inside the box, clips one across, and Darlow gets an important touch on it, then Halford headed away towards the edge of the penalty area, but the danger's still not over, and it comes to Dyer edge of the box, and then Brickwater thinking about the shot that the referee now blows his whistle. And uh, it's a free kick for Forrest for the infringement edge of the box. 12 goal. Yeah, foot up. Just as Yara headed that one, somebody's foot was in his face. Not a real contact made, but still dangerous play. And the referee, thankfully, decided to give the free kick when the run of the ball took it to Leicester. So 12 minutes gone, still nil nil, but a flurry of activity there for Carl Darlow to consider. Just outside his penalty area now is the Forrest keeper and kicks it up towards the edge of the Leicester penalty area where Morgan wins the header, a familiar sight that was when he was a Forest player. Now Dyer helps it further down the left wing for Leicester. Jamal Lascelles is across to uh, deal with that one comfortably and in a very classy way as it's become his way since he got into the side earlier this season. Puts back to Carl Darlow. First time up towards the halfway line where Majewski goes up for it. Reed then gets the second ball, thinks about a quick ball through to Simon Cox, thinks again and knocks it to Danny Fox is left back. Again, it's short for Andy Reid. On the halfway line for Forrest, drifts in field and gives it to Jamal Lascelles. Here, Danny Collins now exchange passes. Collins up for Reid again, just inside the Leicester half. He's trying to take on Brickwater, but Brickwater has tackled him. And now Leicester attack with Kudok Carson. Brickwater towards the edge of the penalty area, right hand side. He's got support on the overlap from Nugent and Reid's across to make the tackle, but Nugent manages to get to the byline, line. And his cross isn't great, but he's put behind by Fox and it's another corner for Leicester City. Yeah, a little bit rubber the green there, that ball broke, Andy Reid tackled him, did it against the Leicester player, but it, it stayed in play, and then he had the disappointment of having the ball hit against him for a corner. Anthony Knockhart is going to take it for Leicester at the Trent end. Fidalo's off his line and gets a little touch, not a very powerful one, and then Jamal Lascelles is caught in possession by Morgan, and a shot from the edge of the penalty area from Matty James, which is blocked and then cleared away. Well, Bit of hesitancy in the Forest defence there. He's out for a throw in on this near side for Leicester. Yeah, the ball was very high and Darlow was back pedalling. So he couldn't really punch it. He could only palm it down in front of himself, which is still in the six yard box, which made it very, very dangerous. And it took a couple of hesitant clearances before Forest managed to get it out of the penalty area. So from the throw, here's Brickwater to Koncheski. Short pass along to West Morgan, which Simon Cox almost intercepted, and well, West Morgan has passed. As uh, evaded the three Leicester City players perfectly, and a forest throw 
level with the edge of their own penalty area for Greg Halford, the right back to take. Well, sorry, Wes, but that was a typical centre half pass. Didn't go to anybody in particular. It was never his forte, was it? <laughs> Wes Morgan, uh, to be fair. He used to, he used to occasionally show some twinkle tours of control <laughs> to get out of difficult situations. But there's Andy Reid. Ball by Yara to Reid, out to the left for Patterson, left edge of the penalty area, Patterson. Cut inside of Galat again, tries to go outside him again, and it's blocked. And Canockard can bring it away. Still uh, only deep inside his own half, though, Canockard. Another pressure from Patterson and Reid. They uh, get it off him and win. Well, I thought they were going to win a throw. They've given it uh, Leicester's way, deep inside their own half. But the silly dallying and Leicester's part there from Canockart, from the block from the lap. Canockart should have got the ball moving. And instead, they uh, just tried to keep possession 25 yards from their own goal. And Forrest quite rightly hurried them. Here's Yara now, on the halfway line for Forrest, drifting from left to right, then pass out wide to Mackey, he's intercepted, but then Yara gets another chance, and then his second chance is blocked as well. Thankfully, Forrest retrieves it, and here's Halford up to Maeski, inside the left to half, right to centre, 30 yards down, Maeski tries to shot, spins off Westport, but it's back over the crossbar, and behind for a Forrest corner. Yeah, you can't blame Maeski, it's about 30 yards out, but it's on his right foot, he's running forward, he's got that momentum. So there's no harm in trying a shot, even from that distance, because Majewski, on his day, can certainly strike them from that distance. We haven't seen it for a little while from Majewski, but uh, it was about a year ago that he went on a great scoring run for Forrest. So many of them from distance. Here they have a corner, 16 gone, nil nil. Patterson delivers it into the six-yard box, and his calling is going up, and he's headed away to about the penalty spot. Halford rising, cleared away again, up towards the halfway line. Yara on the centre circle. Lobs the ball forward to the edge of the box, Cox chesting it down, Collins trying to get the second ball. Now Drinkwater gives it to West Morgan for Leicester, and they'll be able to bring it away down this left-hand side with Kincheski. Forward now to Dyer, Dyer over halfway, and they've got five in this attack of Leicester. Dyer out to the left for Kincheski, again forward down the left wing for Canock on left foot cross to the near post, and Darlow's down six yards out to uh, stop the ball, and comfortably in the end, but uh, Leicester attacking with a little bit of pace. Yeah, they've rolled very, very quickly. Quite a bit of pace in the side. And thankfully, Darlow's hands were safe as that ball bounced awkwardly in front of him to claim it for his own. And there's a long kick by him. Headed away yeah. by Vasilevsky. Yeah. Good header by Vasilevsky there. Quick water up to the halfway line. Let's sell to the cross and a good tackle by him as well. Out for a throw in on this near side. Yeah, and, as, and as much as Dyer's got pace to trouble for us, Patterson also has the same qualities where. Maybe not just as quick, but he's certainly his feet are better than, than Dyer's, so... Well, Delat knows all about him already. Yep. Vasilevsky clips one up to uh, Vardy, back to goal, 25 yards out, and Chalice gives it to uh, Nugent. Thinking about a shot, Nugent deflects and clips over the crossbar, and behind for a corner kick. Well, Vardy had the space to bring the ball down and give it Nugent, and his shot, rather like my Eskic at the other end a couple of minutes ago, takes a deflection and loops over the goalkeeper and over the crossbar and behind for a corner. Yeah, that one deflected and a bit too close for comfort. But the actual position that Nugent found when he had time to get the ball under control, take it forward and then hit a shot, a bit alarming from Forrest's point of view, nobody marking him. At the front end, nil-nil, corner for Leicester, which Matty James takes to the uh, edge of the six-yard box. It comes off Morgan's head and goes out for a goal kick. I say comes off Morgan's head, it bounced before hitting it. And he just tried to turn to try and direct it goalwards, but it sort of spun away and was never going to pose Carl Darlow a problem. 18 gone on BBC Radio Nottingham but 5 Live Sports Extra. Let's go wait the first goal. Yeah, the match is pretty even in all departments. We've had one or two good breaks by the, the opposition and we've had one or two great breaks by Forrest. Patterson in particular pulling a good say about Schmeichel after 8 minutes. Vasilevsky doing some defending here for Leicester, plays it upfield over the halfway line. But, uh, Jamal Lascelles gets it for Forrest, who clips it up looking for Simon Cox, who heads it inside where Jamie Mackey was hoping to get on the end of it, but it's easy for the pole Vasilevsky again, upfield. Danny Collins had it it's straight back to Leicester City, though, who get it up towards the edge of the Forrest penalty area, behind Collins. Vardy was running onto it, but Danny Fox covers 18 yards out and puts it out for a throw-in on this left-hand side from Leicester's point of view. Lloyd Dyer thinking about taking it quickly, and he's going to leave it instead for Koncheski, about 15 yards from the corner flag, Koncheski takes the throw short, gets it back, and now 
gets uh, oh he's got away from Mackie as well and on the by like it Chessie goes cuts it back to Dyer Dyer shoots it's blocked by Yara and behind for Leicester's third quarter of the evening uh, Mackie and Halford not doing a very good job there defensively but eventually as I said there was a great tackle there by Yara coming across as Dyer swung his left foot just inside the six yard box so he's not far from the goal but great save and tackle by the Forest midfield player so another chance for the Foxes to get a ball into the Forest box again James is going to take it he takes his short this time and uh, gets it back 25 yards out left hand side and ends up going all the way back to the centre circle for Kinteski who first time played it to the edge of the penalty area Helped on, Fox then gets the header away. Halford inside the penalty area, miss hits his attempt at left foot of clearance, and now from the left back position, does boost it high and out for a left of City throw. Far side, halfway inside the forest half. Yeah, not taking any chances. Just as high as you'll be able to kick one, I think. Over on the opposite side from our commentary position in front of the Brian Cup stand, but it's a, a throw into Leicester. It's 15 yards inside the forest half on that far side. Richie Delat is going to take it, not the only player who started at Manchester United, who's uh, in the left side, Delat with a high throw into the penalty area, Collins needs to get a header, which he has done, out it drops to Konchesky, the Leicester City left back, Konchesky out to Dyer, it looks a little short and Halford does slide in and make an important touch out for a throw in, and the ball going into the Forest dugout this time, and Leicester throw. So Dyer takes for drink water on the halfway line. Behind him is Morgan, the Leicester skipper. Morgan plays it across the defence to Vasilevsky, who they uh, could have left out tonight with the returning Leo Moore, but Nigel Pearson stuck Moore on the bench, decided to stick with Vasilevsky. Here's Nugent for uh, Leicester, for to Knockout, right edge of the penalty area, drifting in field onto his left foot. Still has it, goes back outside again and then gives the ball straight away to Andy Reid and uh, Reid will bring it away for Forrest towards the halfway line then gives it Patterson again on a run down the left Patterson flicks his side to Cox who just checks back a little gives it Reid behind him he's got Mackey going for a run instead he gives it Yara in the centre circle now onto this right hand side for Halford halfway side the lesser half Halford short pass inside to Majewski back again to Halford and now Lascelles behind him on the halfway line Lascelles clips it down the right wing good ball there's Mackey Mackey with Wes Morgan for company Mackey towards the corner flag trying to get past Morgan, he'll have a second go, and he's, yeah, well I thought he'd run the ball out of play, Leicester said no, and Mackie gets the cross in, and then it's put out of play by Vasilevsky, and Forrest gets himself the corner, good work by Mackie in the end. Yeah, he was a full stretch, he managed to squeeze the ball along the goal line, and Cox put pressure on Vasilevsky, and made him kick it out for this corner, so Andy Reid, let's get it past the man at the near post, Andy, halfway inside, the halfway through the first half, I should say, Andy Reid to take this corner, Left footed, it's very deep and it's headed towards goal. Oh, good save! Good save by Catherine Michael. It was Danny Collins at the back post, six yards down. He got a powerful header and Schmeichel had to make the save, but made the save he did to tip it over the crossbar for another corner. Collins again waiting at the back post. Halford's there as well, 12 yards out. Lascelles is in there too. The three tallest men from Forest all up from defence. Reed takes it again, it's deep, it drops six yards out and it's played wide by. The lad, well, that should have been a corner. That quite clearly came off a blue shirt and behind for a corner. And the referee has given a goal kick. Yeah, just a little flick there. Good to see from here who came off, but uh, Collins again attacking that one at far post this time. He said it before was absolutely magnificent effort. Schmeichel had to be really sharp to go up and touch that one over for the corner. So, scoreline still nil nil after 23 minutes, but. Patterson and Collins have both tested Schmeichel with good efforts. Yeah, we uh, know all about uh, Kasper Schmeichel, not only from uh, his time at Leicester City, but as I say, across the road at Notts County as well. Yeah, son of Peter, here's Knockart for Leicester halfway inside the Forest half, dead centre, exchanging passes with Matthew James and gets it back again. He's a lively player who pops up here, there and everywhere, Knockart. He wants it back again now down the right. He gets it from James, but the pass is great. It's out for a throw for Forrest. Misplaced pass by the 22 year old who uh, scored against Watford the other week, his first of the season. Forrest throw far side there left. And Danny Fox 
on the line from Southampton, saddled well into that left-back position for Forrest, gives it Collins, Collins high upfield where Cox gets a flick on, under a bit of pressure from Vasilevsky, but it only drops to Wes Morgan, straight upfield he goes, over Vardy, over Collins, straight through Padalo. Yeah, it's difficult for Cox at times, because again that one's coming out of the air from a great height, it's got, it's got two or three defenders around him, it's not easy for Forrest lawn striker, if you like to call him that tonight. Mackey obviously trying to get up and support and Paxton, but uh, not easy under the circumstances if you get balls in the air all the time thrown up for you. Here's Reed, halfway line. Gives it to Lascelles behind him. Lascelles carries it over the halfway line for Forrest, then tries to feed a pass inside to Majewski, but it's blocked. Breaks free for Yara. Now Reed gives it Cox. Cox turning again back to Collins inside his own half. Yara, the Chilean, now for Majewski. Back again to Yara, left foot, it'll spread it out to this right wing. Good ball as well to Greg Helfer, good control on his chest. Hugging the touchline on this right hand side, the pass inside is lost though by James. Mackey's across though to put him under some pressure. James, and although he concedes the throw, that's uh, good stuff, good ha carrying again there from Jamie Mackey, putting James under pressure, and then he left to have a throw in a very deep position. Which uh, Paul Kachetti will take the whole of the A block, who uh, Make most of the noise from a tourist perspective. Uh, right in front of it, there's the throw. Down the left wing, Halford with a header inside, but uh, left to get it back. Lascelles now is possessed by Nugent. Down the left wing it goes, halfway inside the forest half is Jamie Vardy. Now level with the edge of the penalty area. Vardy. And leaves it to Drinkwater. Drinkwater back to James. James, 35 yards out, gives it Newton just ahead of him. Now Canockart, Canockart looking for a, a through ball, which is blocked by Majewski. He's trying to get Drinkwater in down the left, but Majewski slid in and made the block. Here's Mackey, gives it Halford. Now for Majewski ahead of him. Forrest still inside their own half, and back to Halford, who again goes high towards uh, Patterson, but it's headed away only as far as Cox, who shoots from 35 yards, and that goes harmlessly wide. Well, it's been a while since we've seen Simon Cox is a shot into the net from that distance and that one was never going to go in no just didn't get it right I think he's obviously been starved of a decent service this time he was the receiving player as the ball was headed out by a centre half um, Patterson taking the forward position but he tried to get it under control and tried to wait for it to bounce nicely to hit with the strike foot but just made a little bit of a mess of that one it's fairly quiet in here. So fifth against first, isn't it? Well, it is. It's uh, nice the crowd and everything. It's a, it's a tight game. I think. I think there's a lot of expectancy from both sets of fans. So it's you've got a tense atmosphere. Forest have had the better openings though, um, as far as creating chances goes. So Leicester can maybe consider themselves to be thankful to Schmeichel for making two good saves from Batson and, and Collins as header. Schmeichel's outside his penalty area here, in possession for Leicester. Plays upfield, and Collins wins that header. Drops to uh, Simon Cox, but Leicester have it back here. Danny Fox on the halfway line. Patterson tried to feed one further forward then towards Simon Cox. It's intercepted, and Leicester get it back. Played immediately from right to left by Knockout, to Kincheski. And back again to Kasper Schmeichel, who just puts his hands out as if to say, calm things down a little. 28 played on BBC Radio Nottingham and Five Live Sports Extra. David Jackson and John McGullin. Bringing you commentary here from the city ground, where we've had no goals as yet. Kincheski now in possession for Leicester. Upfield to Drinkwater, back again to Morgan. Still inside his own half, Morgan now plays one long over the top. Lascelles will try to shadow it back to the keeper, Darla. Darla out of his penalty area to get it away, and Vardy then gratefully taps it in from 18 yards out. Calamity in the Forest defence. Darlo out to the edge of his penalty area, got a connection on it. And when it fell to Vardy, he couldn't believe it. The goal was gaping, and he just slotted into an empty net. Forrest have had the better of the chances in the opening 28 minutes here at the city ground, and they find themselves a goal down, and they only have themselves to blame. Yeah, the ball was coming through, and Lascelles wasn't sure what to do with it. And then he left it as Darlow came rushing out. Darlow actually ended up knowing that he couldn't punch it that far because he was in danger of handling the ball outside the penalty area. The ball then just fell nicely for the Leicester player. He must have thought it was his birthday to put them 1-0 up. So a real hesitancy there between Marcel and Darlow has cost Forrest the goal. Well, Darlow's been so consistent since getting into the 
Forest team just over a year ago. It was a goalkeeping error, which cost Forest at Sheffield United, of course, on Sunday. That was Doris De Vries in goal then. Cole Darlow's back in now. And uh, as John said, coming to the edge of his box, getting a connection on it. And Jamie Vardy could not believe his luck. 18 yards out with the goalkeeper behind him by that point. And Vardy just tucked it between the two Forest defenders who were there, but Vardy was never going to miss from there. So he ended up coming late, Darlow, because the ball actually bounced and I thought, well, the cell's is closest, so if you're the closest player, you deal with it. But either he got a shout from Darlow, who then thought, well, if I extend my arm now and I punch it outside the penalty area, it's going to be deliberate handball and he, he could have been sent off. So he, he sort of held his hand back until it came towards the penalty area. He wasn't sure what to do. He just knocked it down for Vardy to put in the empty net. So should the cells have done more? Well, I thought Lascelles should have dealt with it straight away, David. You know, he's the one that's, that's closest to the ball initially, and if you're the one that's closest to the ball, you deal with it. But he might have received a shout from, um, obviously, Carl Darlow, so, you know, that's something... He came running out clearly like it was his yes. intention. Yeah, but the ball was never bouncing fast enough towards him, you know what I mean, for him to just pick it up comfortably in his penalty area. But once he's made that decision... He doesn't want to go back on it. You've got to stick with that decision, haven't you? And, and then deal with it. Here's certain Lascelles heading it away to uh, Majewski, still inside his own half. Majewski back to Collins, edge of his penalty area. And he uh, plays it forward down the left of Patterson. It took a deflection. It's a forest throw on the halfway line. Yeah, it's just one of those untidy goals where if somebody makes a, a decision very, very quickly, then it doesn't happen. But it has happened. And 1-0 down against the league leaders. Forrest have just got to keep playing the way they were playing before though and since his early couple of forays Patterson seems to have been a little bit starved of the ball Here's uh, Fox with a throw in for Forrest inside the left of half Reed on again then to Lascelles inside his own half young lad himself of course having got into the team this year with an injury to Kelvin Wilson done really well as well being considered for an England under 21 cap it's passed forward there uh, it doesn't fight Mackey it's allowed to run straight through between Kincheski and Morgan and into the grateful arms of Kasper Schmeichel in the Leicester City goal. The supporters behind there are very, very happy indeed. Well, Leicester certainly aren't going to hurry things. They weren't hurrying things before Schmeichel took this kick to knock it into Forest half. Um, away from home, when the score was 0-0, they're never going to hurry things, but uh, they'll probably take the time even more now they've gone 1-0 up. Leicester throw, far side, they're right, halfway inside the Forest half. They lead by a goal to nil. The lap gets it straight back from Knockart. And Knockart then tries to play a ball down the right wing where Patterson gets it. Tries to play it off the Leicester player and out for a Forest throw, but it bounces back off his knee, so a Leicester throw instead. Which is uh, taken by the lap again, back to Martin Vasilevsky, towards the edge of the Forest penalty area and uh, Vardy and Nugent again linking up but Collins gets it away Reid heads it on no one there though on the halfway line apart from Matty James and he wears blue James up to Drinkwater and back again to Morgan Morgan decides to go on a bit of a run and then sticks against him cuts back again now here's Dyer normally left wing but in a central position at the moment back to Drinkwater out onto the far side there, right for Knockhart. Back to Delat, who plays high one over the top. Collins chests it down edge of his penalty area. He goes away to his left, and then he clears long up to the halfway line. And uh, headed forward here where Knockhart might get it, but Reed gets an important touch, and then Knockhart does get the second ball. 20 yards out, Knockhart shoots wide. A few yards wide of Caldarlo's left hand post. All a bit messy again, this time in the Forest midfield rather than in the Forest defence. And Knockhart's left foot shot. Thankfully, wide of Carl Darlow's left-hand post. Yeah, but Knockhart's received the ball and he's gone forward and there's Collins, there's Lascelles, and there's, I think, Yara in there. They all backed off. They backed off him and if you back off, somebody's going to keep coming and shoot a goal. Thankfully, it was a poor effort because he's shooting from just 20 yards right in front of the goal. Off target, thankfully, for Forrest. Here's Yara for Forrest to Craig Halford, halfway line. Uh, far right, upfield to Mackey. Mackey gets control of it. Right edge of the penalty area, Jamie Mackey tries to get across and it's blocked and it's a forest throw just by the corner flag. And Mackey's going to leave this for Greg Halford to take. 
Uh, he's taken short ones before, but this will be a long one by Halford to try and... Although Andy Reid's telling him, uh, telling him not to. So he now does go short to uh, Majewski. Back again now to Halford. Now Yara behind him. He decides to Reid. Reid tries to exchange passes to Majewski. And Majewski's well over hit that pass, giving it straight away again. And Leicester have it in their midfield with Drinkwater. Majewski doing what he can to get him back. He tricks Drinkwater to uh, get the ball off him. But he was just trying to make amends for his uh, over hit pass a moment ago. Uh, he's usually got a good touch, Majewski, but it was a horrific return to Andy Reid, giving him no chance of keeping the ball at all. His drip, uh, Nugent to this left hand side for Dyer. Now in field to Canocco, left edge of the penalty area for Leicester. Further left now to uh, Nugent to Dyer, wide left. Six yards to the byline, trying to get a return pass from Canocco. Goes for ground safety with foul. Bottom the cells and pass. Catches Jamie Mackey sleeping, and Leicester are able to. Get uh, possession again, and here's Nugent, 25 yards down, pushes it on to Brinkwater with a shot, and that's over the crossbar. And Harmless, uh, the Forest fan, is just getting a little frustrated with Forest. It was Lascelles' pass away, but Mackey had already turned and was on a run. Didn't know that the pass out was going to be aimed at him. Leicester got possession back, Nugent touched it on, and Brinkwater shot going over the crossbar this time. 35 gone, and Forest could do with getting a grip of this game again. Uh, giving the ball away carelessly and uh, it nearly cost them again because Drinkwater shooting for just 20 yards in front of the goal and thankfully his shot was off target just that little bit of hesitancy just maybe lack of total confidence with one or two of the things that the Forest team are doing before the goal obviously they created the two best chances and it took two good saves from Schmeichel to keep the scoreline at 0-0 but since Leicester have scored just one or two little bits of hesitancy in the the Forest play. Greg Halford has it for Forrest in a right back position inside his own half. Rolls it back to Lascelles, 25 yards from his own goal. On now to Danny Collins. Uh, back in the side in place of the injured Jack Hobbs, who's missed the last couple. And he plays it out wide left, looking for Patterson. But uh, Patterson wasn't going to be able to get that. It's uh, out for a Leicester City throw. Yeah, ball at head height, thrown towards Patterson going over his head with the defender next to him is not much use so he couldn't keep that one in play at all Forest nil, Leicester 1 on BBC Radio Nottingham and 5 Live Sports Extra and Vasilevsky plays at field for Leicester deep inside the Forest half where Lascelles wins it and now Halford gives it Majewski this is deep from Forest as Yara gives it Reed and he turns and storms forward as Andy Reed towards the edge of the Leicester penalty area wide left it goes for Mackey Mackey inside again to Reed. Might think about a shot 25 yards out. Curls it in towards Cox. It's away. Morgan gets the second header away. Now Fox tries to play it out wide left. Gets it wrong. It falls to Kadokar who clears. Now Collins wins it back for Forrest halfway. Gives it Lascelles. That bit of movement from Forrest to counter. It's just got the home fans interested again. Here's Collins. Wide left for Fox. Inside to Yara. And Yara over halfway to Andy Reed. Inside the centre circle still. Gives it Lascelles, who's over the halfway line. And up from a defensive position, gives it to Mackey. Mackey has Halford wide right. He goes for him. 15 yards to the byline, Halford. Touches it back to Majewski. Majewski's got Cox in the middle. Instead, he gives it Yara, square, who's dead centre, 35 yards out. Reed is just to the left of him. Back again now to Yara. Yara looking for a way through the wall of blue shirts. Gives it Majewski, gets it back again, and then chips one down the right for Halford, who heads it in towards the edge of the six-yard box, and it's headed away by Vasilevsky, and that'll be a corner for Forrest. Yeah, good header by Halford, lots of power on it. Forced the Leicester man to give away the corner, he couldn't deal with the pace, but just before then, Patterson made a great run in from the left-hand side, made himself available, but he wasn't spotted by Yara. Nevertheless, a corner, Andy Reid to take this one. Chance for Forrest to get back into it with seven to go to half-time. Andy Reid with a corner, left footer towards the edge of the six-yard box, it's away and then headed back to the corner in the top corner from Jamie Patterson! That is a terrific goal again! His ninth goal of the season, his ninth in 11 games! Well, the corner from Reed was headed out, and Patterson was just inside the penalty area and just headed it back in. It went through everybody, and it went to Casper Michael's left and into the top corner, and for it, the back level of one all, it's Jamie Patterson again! That's a magnificent header by Patterson. Andy Reid's corner was headed out firmly. And when it came to Patterson, he turned it with even more power. Schmeichel could only stand and look at it as it flew into the top left-hand corner of his net. Powerless to do anything about it. A magnificent header by Patterson. If anyone thought his header against Sheffield United in the cup tie was a good one, 
Let me see the replay of this one. This is an absolute beauty. That is uh, another headed goal from Jamie Patterson for a little tricky winger. He scored three headed in three games. Well, the ball was right for him, but bye, he made a great job of that. Not easy to head one from the edge of the penalty area and beat the keeper all ends up. So magnificent strike to put. And now we can hear the Forest fans. Yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he used his whole body weight behind that header, didn't he? To uh, end up on the floor. He was unchallenged, but put his whole body into that header. Here, left to have it at the other end, though, with a body towards the edge of the box. Left foot shot, diving save from Darlow down to his left. Good save. That was a decent shot there from the edge of the penalty area from Vardy, who'd run from a central position to the edge of the penalty area, just left of centre. Fired a shot between two Forest defenders, and Darlo down to his left to make the stop, and he's cleared out for a throw-in on the far side for Leicester, which Richie Delat is up from defence to take. And uh, back to Vasilevsky's cross is blocked, then Kanoko helps it to the edge of the area. Yara with an important touch, and Majewski brings it away with a score at one all. Majewski to the halfway line, gives it to Maki just to his right inside the uh, Leicester half. is tackled by Drinkwater, and it is a forest throw just inside the Leicester half on their right. Yeah, again, Lascelles let, letting Vardy shoot there, which is a very, very dangerous idea. Vardy's got two good feet. Marcells has got enough pace to stay with him, but doesn't seem to see the danger. So when he hit that shot, it took a really good save by Darlow, but there's Andy Reid again. Reading it up to Majewski, back to goal. It's tackled by Morgan. Patterson gets the second ball, though, for Forrest. Does well. Out of it right hand side for Halford. Halford up to Cox, wants to let it run through for Patterson, but Morgan intercepted it. Halford gets it back for Forrest now inside the left to half. Carries it forward. 25, 30 yards from goal, Halford. Uh, clips it forward, trying to get Patterson in down the right this time. Takes a deflection on its way and spins to Morgan, who clears to the halfway line. But here's Colin in possession again for Forrest. 41 played, gives it Reed ahead of him. Reed inside to Yara. Yara's got Majewski in space ahead of him. Turns, gives it to him. Majewski on the Patterson, oh, he's just played it behind him. And uh, when Morgan is then dispossessed by Mackie inside the penalty area, and the referee has given a penalty. Mackie took the ball off Morgan, who was then fouled, and Forrest will have the chance to go. 2-1 up and the referee will now go and have a word with Wes Morgan. The Forest fans want him to be sent off, although it looks more likely to be a yellow card. It is a yellow card for Wes Morgan and Forest have a penalty. Yep, nipped in, Mackie nipped in. Wes Morgan wasn't sure that there was anybody there, but he's just pinched the ball off him. And then Wes Morgan's moved his body across. He's brought him down, so it was... Uh, Good incisive play there by Mackie, but uh, Wes Morgan caught sleeping a little bit. Both Marcells and he having an off day tonight. Andy Reid has placed the ball, and he will take this penalty against Casper Schmeichel at the Brisbane end here at the City Ground. It's 1 1. We've got less than three minutes to go to half time. Andy Reid, it's a short run up for the Irishman, and he smashes it over to the corner. Michael died for his right, the ball went into the corner to his left, and Andy Reid has given Forrest a 2-1 lead towards the end of the first half of this East Midlands derby. A goal down through Jamie Vardy, the goal now from Patterson and Reid in the space of four minutes to turn this match on its head. It's Forrest 2, Leicester 1. Well, if the Forrest defence been a little lax then, Wes Morgan, former player, he certainly is to blame for that goal, but Leicester has conceded it just tallying on the ball, Mackie's come in as soon as he's nicked it away from him, Wes has went to try and play the ball, knocked him down for a penalty, so hesitation by the referee in giving that one, and, and Andy Reid dispatched that one with great accuracy and power. Flash Mike up the foot for us, 2 1 up. So. Mackie actually got straight back up, didn't he? After yes. being fouled, he got straight back up because he knew he'd got a goal scoring opportunity. He didn't stay down, wasn't making a feel of it, just went down, got straight back up, but looked up to see that the referee had uh, yeah. given the penalty. I think he's just lucky that, uh, Wes, that Mackie's actually running away from goal. So he's running sideways in the penalty area, not forward towards the goal. If he'd been running forward towards the goal, the referee would have probably had no hesitation and sent him off. But, uh, Oh, that has spoiled the game. Reed over the top, down the left for Simon Cox to chase. And Wes Walker just across the field, just shadow this one out of play. And it'll be a goal kick. But what a dramatic few minutes. Forrest looks out of sorts, really, as a goal down and a few little mistakes. And misplaced passes. Shows what difference the goal makes. Yeah, it certainly does. I mean, when, when Leicester took the lead, in, in some ways it was against the run of play after the two good chances that Forrest had created. So, you know, a little parity now, and perhaps that's. Uh, 
that should be the way. Um, it's been a, a good game in the, in the response from Forrest's point of view because, you know, going a goal down, a little bit of hesitancy, not quite as fluent as normal. After a couple of defeats, well, that's a great response. Forrest 2, Leicester 1. And uh, Fox plays appeal to my my SC with a flick on, but now Reed going in for a challenge on Brickwater, going in a little high free kick for Leicester. Remember, both of these sides on great unbeaten runs at the moment. Forrest tracking all the way back to the end of November when they were beaten by Reading. Leicester's back to early December, and uh, they though who are top of the league, Forrest in fifth. We've got two more minutes stoppage time. We've played 45 now, so two more minutes at the end of this first half. And a free kick for Leicester, which Matty James is going to take lift into the area. And all the way through it goes. No danger. And a goal kick for Forrest. What an end to this uh, first half it's been. Yeah, that free kick not long into the Forrest penalty area. And Danny Collins sits to Carl Darwin. You should have you come and got that one. So, still little differences of opinion, but... Forrest have done really well to get themselves into a lead with a couple of minutes to go to half time because ideally mentally to go in having pegged back Leicester and then got yourself in front no team likes to go in the dressing room having just conceded a goal so from Forrest's point of view ideal timing so far here's Kuchetsky halfway line left back position for Leicester trips for the field and that's straight through for uh, Darlow no problem at all from Kuchetsky right from the halfway line through everybody straight to Darlow yeah, Carl Darlow just said uh, telling everybody to go forward doesn't fancy throwing this one up to anybody <laughs> deep in the enemy territory as you can here it goes and uh, aimed towards Simon Cox and Morgan wins the header Kuchetsky gets the second header over the halfway line towards Vardy but it's uh, Danny Fox who gets there the Forest left back right footed he plays one upfield Nowhere near Simon Cox, and so it's Casper Schmeichel's ball in the final 30 seconds of this first half. Schmeichel pumps one upfield. Collins will have to rise to win this edge of the area. Heads it behind him. That'll go behind for a corner, unless Fox can keep it in, which he can't. So a, a corner kick for Leicester to end this first half. It's going to be another twist. Well, all hands to the wheel. Forrest pulling everybody back at this stage of the first half. I don't blame them this time, having 11 men back in their own penalty area. Knockout takes it, it drops, uh, edge of the six yard box, but Darlow's there to get a good solid punch away. Dyer then from 40 yards, lost it back into the penalty area. It's Morgan who turns and tries to uh, get away from Jamie Mackey. And there is the ball over Mackey's head. Goes through to Carl Darlow. And there is the half-time whistle, where it's Forrest leading by two goals to one. At the break, they are very warmly applauded off the field are the Forest supporters for a, a bright start to this game when they pose Casper Schmeichel problems, but more significantly, a bright end to this first half, which means they don't go into the break trailing by a goal to nil. Instead, Forest go into the break leading 2 1. Well, a mistake obviously gave Leicester the lead, and their hesitation between Darlow and Lascelles ended up presenting an absolute gift for Leicester um, an empty net bringing the score to 1-0 after Forrest had had two great chances ahead of by Collins which Schmeichel saved well and a right foot shot by Patterson who fired one in to make Schmeichel dive to his left and knock away so against the run of play Leicester took the lead but then in the space of a few minutes first of all an Andy Reid corner was headed out powerfully towards the edge of the penalty area Patterson just happened to put his forehead on it lean his body forward and powered it back past Schmeichel into the top corner to put Forrest level and then literally a couple of minutes later a mistake from Wes Morgan of all people hesitating on the ball Mackey nips in touches it away from him and then goes down under Wes Morgan's challenge gets a penalty which Andy Reid smashes in and energy is restored thought Forrest had created the better chances in the early moments but there was a little bit of hesitation and it did cost them a goal but overall I'm pleased um, but they've actually got themselves back in front because I think they maybe just deserved that over the 45 minutes especially the, the two good saves by Schmeichel from Patterson and obviously Collins' header But well, when you think about chances actually created I mean Leicester were, were gifted their goal do you think a chance is actually created Forrest are up by a number of them? Well they had those two good ones and obviously before they got the two goals you know the, the only time that Leicester looked dangerous was a couple of times edge of the penalty area 
for us not really closing them down and letting them shoot. And we saw drink water smash one over, and we know knockout can go past people. So, you know, maybe a, not quite as good in defence as, as they have been of late for us, but good enough to come back from a goal down in a real storming performance towards the end of the first half. John McGovern will be back to uh, bring you second half commentary here on BBC Radio Nottingham and Five Live Sports Extra, where Forrest go in to the break, uh, leading the league leaders Leicester by two goals to one. Jamie Vardy putting Leicester in front on 29 minutes after Carl Darlow came to the edge of his penalty area. Got uh, a punch on it, but only to a Leicester player, and Vardy from 18 yards out, gratefully just slotting the ball into an empty net. Patterson's terrific header from just inside the Leicester penalty area after Andy Reid's corner was headed out from the edge of the six-yard box. That drew things level on 39. And then Jamie Mackey fouled by Wes Morgan inside the penalty area and Andy Reid smashing home the penalty. That's on 42. And that is the reason that at half-time here at the city ground, it is Forest 2, Leicester 1. Every Forest match. Only on BBC Radio Nottingham. The players are out for the second half here at the City Ground. It's Nottingham Forest against Leicester City. And the second half with the former Reds captain John McGovern and David Jackson. There's a quick scout around. Doesn't look like there's going to be any changes. Certainly not for Leicester. And uh, no changes for Forest either, as you might expect, leading the league leaders by two goals to one at the break here at the City Ground. So Leicester are going to get us underway in this second half. They attacking the end where their supporters are situated in the Bridgeford End lower tier, or at least half of it anyway. And uh, Jamie Vardy, their goal scorer, standing over the ball on the halfway line. With uh, Forrest leading by two goals to one, thanks to goals from Jamie Patterson on 39. Great header from just inside the penalty area after Andy Reid's corner was headed out towards him, and then Andy Reid himself from the penalty spot, putting Forrest ahead on 42 minutes. Referee Anthony Taylor, just checking that his uh, assistants are happy, and the second half is underway, with Danny Drinkwater carrying it forwards for Leicester. Wide left then for Dyer, plays it in field, Yara gets a touch out of play, and it's a Leicester throw-in. 20, 25 yards inside the Forrest half. Far side, taken inside towards Nugent. And Nugent running from left to right and then cutting back to Morgan, his captain, on halfway. Short pass forward to Drinkwater. Then Dyer flicking one in field towards Vardy. But uh, just smashed away by Collins. It's needlessly really had more time on the ball than he thought and he's just booted it out of play far side for a lesser throw in on the halfway line, which is taken short by Kincheski to Morgan. And Morgan under a bit of pressure from Mackey. He knows all about that. That's what led to the penalty in the first place. But Morgan knocks it back for Casper Schmeichel. 2-1 Forest lead. What have we got in store in the second half, John McGowan? Well, obviously this... I know it's a cliche, but the next course are very, very important. You know, if Forest were to get it, they obviously go 3-1 up. But uh, if Leicester managed to pull it back, then obviously there's all to play for. And there's a ball out to Dyer, but even his pace can't keep that one in. We can for us to throw five yards from their own corner flag. How's going to take this one? So it's, it's interesting, David. You know, if Forrest going to leave it as it is, just with Cox up front, it seemed to have worked in the first half to get them a lead, albeit a slender one, one goal. Um, or are they going to eventually, as the second half evolves, bring on some fresh legs, such as maybe Henderson up front? You just don't know, but uh, you know for sure that Billy Davis will have been absolutely delighted his side managed to get themselves in front before half time there's a good knock on by Fox it's been dispossessed as can knock off by Fox charges up towards the edge of the left for penalty area gives it Patterson to his left now Reed back again to Fox left hand side 30 yards out now Fox plays it Patterson down the left great ball Patterson rolls it across and cleared away by Morgan 6 yards out when Cox was waiting in the back post to tap it into the empty net terrific move by Forrest uh, splitting Leicester apart was uh, Patterson's run he was well found and his low cross into the six yard box was just cleared away by Morgan who had just been handed the attendance 24,808 which is uh, slightly lower than had been anticipated but still a decent amount almost 2,000 from Leicester free kick for Forrest here on the 
halfway line. Left hand side, Fox is going to take it, chips it up towards Cox, under a bit of pressure from Vasilevsky, but still manages to find Reed. And back again now for Fox down the left wing to Patterson, who kicks it in play, does well Patterson, in play well at the moment. Very really settling into Forest more and more as the season goes on after his million pound move from Walsall. Here's Collins across now to Lascelles and forward to Gonzalo Yara who turns into the space over halfway line for Forrest, then gives it ahead of him to Halford, back again now to Yara, this is neat from Forrest, Patterson ahead of them, popping up on the right wing now, Patterson cuts back onto his left foot, gives it to Majewski, 30 yards out, dead centre, now for Yara, a wide left for Danny Fox, on this left hand side, again forward to Majewski, this is all neat from Forrest, Majewski gets it back again from Fox, 30 yards out, on to Andy Reid, dead centre Reid, turns back, does the Irish international for a, a second time, Andy Reid, his fourth this season, so good, getting international recognition again. Now, Lascelles getting the ball back and rolling it a lot across to uh, Collins. It's some neat stuff from Forrest. They delightfully cut apart the Leicester defence a moment ago, John McGovern. Yeah, they did. And, uh, well, at the time they've had the ball, now has been significant. And there's Andy Reid trying to find Cox's through run, but Morgan's cleared it. Oh, he's the way down the Collins is back, he's got a pressure for Vardy, Vardy's beating him and then Collins has got a terrific tackle. Terrific tackle from Collins on the edge of the six yard box. Gives it in the cells of Forrest Clear. Now Canocard with the lat on the overlap inside the area. Right in the side, clips the ball in and Lascelles heads it. And it's, uh, well it's almost down for a corner and then the lap. Well, Patterson and Forrest will have a free kick right on their own byline. About 20 yards or so from the corner flag. Well, what a tackle that was by Collins. The Leicester City supporters in that corner wanted a penalty, but actually, after he'd been barged out of the way by Vardy, it looked for all the world from six yards out that he was just going to slot the ball past Darlow, but Collins got back at him and made a saving tackle. Yeah, he did. He was hesitant in the first place um, to let him get back in on the Forest goal, and uh, again, a few words between Collins and, uh, and Carl Darlow, so one or two pieces of hesitation. Thankfully, didn't cost Forrest on that occasion as they did in the first half when they conceded the first goal of the match. But, uh, after that incident, eventually Lascelles managed to clear the ball himself, so just that little bit of hesitancy in the Forest defence it can happen occasionally, and uh, as long as Darlow keeps talking to his defenders in front of him, you know, he can clarify that situation. Here's Morgan. Deep for Leicester. Just leaves the ball then for Drinkwater. Rolls it up to Knockart and now out onto this right hand side. Uh, for Vasilevsky who's forward for Leicester, but now here's Patterson for Forrest. Down the left, Patterson inside to Reed. He's uh, got Majewski on the run and then he tries to uh, take on Drinkwater, tries to do too much on his own and he takes it off him. Drinkwater to Dyer, far side. Now drifting in field, Dyer still going 30 yards from the Forest goal, flicks it out wide onto the left, but Knockart checks back in. Infield of Halford, out to the edge of the penalty area and the shot from Drinkwater is deflected high and over Darlow's goal and out for a corner kick for the Foxes. Yeah, Andy Reid getting out to do his defensive duties this time, stops the shot going in on target but can only deflect it for a corner. Six gone in the second half on BBC Radio Nottingham and Five Life Sports Extra. Forrest leading the championship leaders Leicester by two goals to one. But Leicester have a corner at the Bridgeford end here at the city ground. So in front of those 2,000 travelling supporters. In comes the corner, edge of the six-yard box, and it's headed away well by Lascelles, under pressure from West Morgan. And out for a throw in a few yards from the corner flag, this time on Leicester's right. Good header. And Vasilevsky, the Polish international defender, is up to take it, throwing the ball off under his shirt, and preparing for a long throw. There it is, a high dropping one to the edge of the six-yard box, and it's uh, off Morgan's head the back of his head under pressure from both uh, Fox and Collins and it uh, just drops wide of Carl Darlow's left hand post goal kick yeah, Danny Collins doing well again there the pressure from Wes Morgan but forcing him due to a little nudge there to knock the ball out for a goal kick Danny Collins in the side tonight I think he's done really well David I think he's done really well tonight I mean I know he was under pressure and it was a little bit hesitant before but then proved that a great saving tackle to, to stop Leicester from scoring and uh, he's affected everything in the air and being really positive tonight. Lascelles here for Forrest up to 
halfway, Reed helping it on, and then Mackey getting it further on to Cox, and now here's Reed, he's opening up for Forrest, here's a pass, first time from the edge of the area, left down the side, Danny Fox, left edge of the box, Fox tries to get across, blocked by Drinkwater, Fox gets it back, inside the area, still going, takes on two, to the byline, and then smashes the ball wide from a very, very tight angle, where there were players waiting in the middle, and he tries to take on three there, did Fox, but it all opened up for Forrest, as Reed played it up to Patterson, 25 yards out, and he first time played it out wide to Danny Fox. I wonder, John McGovern, if you think he may have taken it on a bit at that point. Well, he's right in the middle of the goal. He's knocked it to what Fox in a wide position, and it's easy to score when you're right in front of the goal. Might have been a better option for him, but uh, Fox ended up almost getting clear, but not quite. And there's a bit of fancy footwork by Knockhart, but it went to nobody. Thankfully, Vasilevsky could come and claim it. I think they call that playing it into space. <laughs> Every Leicester player and Forest player looked at it. And then eventually Vasilevsky ran in and kept possession for Leicester. Now for Knockhart and Ben Morgan behind him. Flips the keep possession and then gets up and plays it up to Vardy. He wants it back again now from Newton. Flips forward. Halford across defending for Forest. Up towards Reed. Clever little header to his left for Patterson. Patterson's got away from the lad here as he knows it. Belgian is back to switch the ball to Vasilevsky behind him and left to get possession now with Nugent halfway inside the forest half right hand side rolls it up to Vardy back to goal 20 yards out wide right now for Canocard Canocard attacking Danny Fox inside the penalty area still going over on the overlap it's Drinkwater smashes it across Darlow parries it and then away by Fox and it'll drop behind will it? No yes it does drop behind for a corner Reed thought for a second he might have kept it in if he smashed the ball away but uh, the linesman had indicated it will be a corner for Leicester. Nine gone second half. Forrest 2-1 up. Yeah, great parry at the near post by Darlow. Smashed towards him by Trinkwater, but a great parry by the Forest keeper. Knockhart is the man that's going to take this. So it'll be a left footed in the swinger. Darlow leaves it, goes to the back post, and then headed over by Nugent. The angle was tight, headed it back across, and onto the roof of Darlow's net. A good firm header by Nugent, but a couple of yards off target, so no real good is there for the Forest defence. If you're one of these strikers likes to come sometimes from deep positions, on that occasion he's coming in from the far side of the six yard box. Does meet it well with his forehead, but as I said, a couple of yards off target, so no real worries. Didn't have any luck against Forest at uh, the KP Stadium earlier this season. Darlo produced an absolute wonder save from him, I remember in the first half. And then missed another chance, so Forrest went on to win that game 2-0. I don't think many teams are going to do the double over Leicester this season, but Forrest are on course for it just at the moment. Uh, a long way to go, 10 minutes gone in the second half. Throw in far side, Forrest right, Halford down the wing towards Mackey, a little flick on to Cox, level with the edge of the penalty area, wide right, back now to Majewski, down the wing towards Mackey, right edge of the penalty area, Mackey trying to get to the byline, uh, gets back and then Dyer smashes it out of play, corner for Forrest. Mackey's tenacity and hard work, earning Forrester a corner. Yeah, he never seems to give up, Mackey. He's a very, very willing worker and runner. And on that occasion, it's his endeavour that's actually won the corner. He also won Forrester penalty in the first half. Well, I've got a corner now at the front end, which Andy Reid is going to whip in left foot at edge of the six-yard box, falls towards Halford, but it's cleared away before it gets there, and then smashed away by Nugent, to his uh, back defending. Over halfway and out for a forest throw in a right back position. So 56 on the clock. David Jackson here, along with the former forest captain John McGovern. And forest leading this game. So looking to extend an unbeaten league run, which will go to 14 matches if they manage it. Leicester unbeaten at 11 before this with a, a draw either end of that incredible nine match winning run, which has put some distance between them and the changing pack. And leaves teams like Forrest thinking there's only really one automatic promotion place left to chase. Here's the Cox down the right for Forrest, given the ball by Mackey, right edge of the area, faced by Kinchetsky. And it's uh, out of play uh, under pressure from the former Forrest Loney. And it's a lesser throw, level with the edge of their own penalty area to Kinchetsky to take. Yeah, just outnumbered there, Cox, on the far touch line. Couldn't wriggle three from a tight situation. There's some good initial control by Yara. And then to Andy Reid and then to Fox, who Fox. knocks a great ball forward to Majewski. Then sets up, 35 yards out, back to goal and gives it Reid. Back again now to Majewski, and here's Reid again. Reid to Yara. Arsenal are a goal down in the Champions League. Bayern Munich have scored. 
both sides missing penalties in the first half, but eventually they found a way through. Arsenal having had their keeper sent off. Here's uh, Yara, back again now to Reed, still on the halfway line, and up to Mackie. This is Yara, all on the floor, but at the moment it's all backwards, so it's Lascelles again, and now here's Reed. turns, he's got space to run into Andy Reid here. Clips one down the right wing to Halford. Halford heads it across the edge of the penalty area. Morgan gets it away, but then headed back in down the right hand side for Forrest. Here's Mackie, right edge of the area. Halford supporting it. Instead, he goes all the way back to Yara. Halfway inside the left half. Forrest keeping possession. Yara clips on forward to Patterson. It deflects off Nugent and spins through to Casper Michael in the left goal. Yeah, the Forrest crowd. Pleased to see Forrest keep possession sometimes with a lot well, of passes. Lester giving it away here to Lats, straight to Reed inside the left half. The Lats have got it back again off Simon Cox. Sorry, John, it seemed for a moment it might open up for Forrest there, but Lester bring it away now with Drinkwater, rolling it through Lascelles edge of the penalty area, easily intercepted. Now Majewski to Reed and Yara coming again to Majewski. Forrest keeping possession, but the fan is happy with that, but wanting to see it moving in the right direction. Reed now to Majewski over the halfway line, Forrest now, but patiently so. And then back to Danny Collins. Yeah, the Forest crowd, you know, quite like seeing Forest keep in possession, but only for so long. And then they want to see some progress being made. So the patience of the crowd, sometimes not matching the patience of the players. Here's Yara, halfway line. Once again, a short pass to Reed. Reed, up to Majewski. He goes down, he's a slight bigger. Here's Majewski, and no free kick is given unless they can. Carry it away with Pinot on board to Drinkwater. Inside the penalty area, right hand aside for Drinkwater. Still faced by Collins. He rolls a short pass back and then it's caught wide by Nugent from 10 yards out. And it's all opened up. And how David Nugent has missed that, he cannot believe. But uh, Leicester suddenly finding a way through the Forest defence, all too simple. And the short pass back. Nugent completely unmarked. The leading scorer, and he's dragged that shot a couple of feet wide of Cardalo's right hand post. Yeah, that's a sitter as far as Nugent's concerned, with his quality, but Danny Collins this time backing off and backing off, and you can only back off so far. And I think it was Drinkwater that ran at him, and he backed off and backed off, and eventually there's a little square pass to Nugent, giving him a chance from eight, nine yards, right in front of the goal, and he screwed it wide at the far post with a goal at his birthday. Now, Forrest have uh, been allowed to play on here when clearly there was a foul over on the far side. And what's the referee going to do about it? Oh, it's a straight red for Paul Kinchesky. A straight red for a foul on Jamie Mackey on the far side. The Leicester players surround the referee. There was no doubt it was a, a free kick. And Kinchesky still stands dejected on the edge of his penalty area. But Leicester City are down to 10 men. The referee clearly unhappy with what he saw. And Kinchesky, who played a few games here, on loan a few years ago, we'll leave the pitch after an hour. Leicester are down to 10 men. Kincheski sent off for a foul halfway inside his own half on Jamie Mackey. John McGovern. Well, he's clattered into Mackey, but I'm not sure whether that warranted a, a red card. Sometimes referees have got something in their mind immediately, and there was certainly no hesitation by the referee. He just pulled out a red card straight away. He didn't need to confirm with his assistant, who is actually closer to the incident. So he could have, if he was in any doubt, David, you know, gone and asked his assistant to say, did you see, he just, he's got the red card out and he sent him off. I wonder if he sort of stood up or something like that, but, well, the nature of the tackle from here, because it's on the far side, it's as far away from us as you could get. I didn't see it that clearly, but I know he's made contact, but as to the validity of the red card, I'm not sure. Well, the big cheer is because Simon Cox is coming off, and Darius Henderson is coming on substitution for Forrest. The, uh, the cheer before, of course, the Kuchesky finally getting down the tunnel, but the cheer now for Cox coming off, Henderson going on, change for Forrest, and a big man up front. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything wrong with Cox. It's been a struggle for him to get into the game, being the only man up front, and perhaps the thinking behind it is, well, Henderson, you know, is stronger and bigger physically, so perhaps if Forrest have to rely on the odd long ball, he's going to be able to deal with it a little bit better. That's the only reason I can see why Cox has gone off, because it's only 16 minutes gone in this half. Free kick wide right then for Forrest. Andy Reid is going to take it. He gets 10-man Leicester. In it goes. It's to the edge of the 60-yard box. It'll fall to the The ball in. It's so wide. From 12 yards out. It drops through so nicely. Headed up in the air. 
and then fell to Lascelles and he smashed it from 12 yards out didn't get a connection he wanted really and it went to the wide of Casper Schmeichel's left hand post who remains 2-1 as Schmeichel launches this one long towards Nugent Lascelles with the header Leicester are getting ready to make a substitution. Leo Ball will be entering the field shortly. But there's Jamie Vardy first to the edge of the Forest penalty area. Still going, trying to get through Yara and Halford. Halford uh, gets the last touch. And out behind for a corner for Leicester. For Matty James to take. Forest 2-1 up. But Leicester down to 10 men. Having had Paul Koczewski dismissed. Corner for Leicester then at the Bridgeford end. And Forrest have thrown everybody back. In goes the corner. It's deep towards Morgan. He gets the header. It's a long way wide. And it's a goal kick for Forrest. And Leicester will shortly make their substitution. A yeah, decent corner there, but West Morgan's gone up to challenge for it. But Lascelles is right with him, proving a big handicap. And Morgan could only help the ball out for a goal kick. And the substitution being made. Kinchewski's off. And Lloyd Dyer is now making way. The left winger. And one of the pace men on the side that can cause you problems. So Liam Moore is on, which will, uh, I mean, of course, they've lost one of their attacking options, but Moore, back from a rib injury, goes straight over and slots straight into the left-back position. So, a goal kick for Forrest. And uh, just going back to the Lascelles volley, um, David, it was uh, it's amazing. Half the, half the Forrest crowd thought he'd actually scored. So it was close enough to look as if he'd actually hit the net. He volleyed it really well. But uh, here's Reed up towards Henderson. Little flick on. Good one as well. Gets Patterson in on the byline. Left and the side inside the area. Crosses it off to Latter behind for a corner. Well, Henderson having an immediate impact. Only off the bench in the last couple of minutes. Good header on edge of the box. Getting Patterson in down the left and the side. He wins a corner. Yeah, good sideways header there by Henderson. Straight into the path for Patterson. And uh, Schmeichel complaining. Patterson with miles offside. But you can hear the Forest fans now. Forest still on the front foot and 2-1 off. Patterson is going to take this corner. Score of one of Forest's goals this evening. In it goes. Into the six-yard box. Morgan with a header away. Fox might win this again. Does lofts it. Back towards the edge of the penalty area. Headed on by Collins. The back is in there. Inside the penalty area. Goes down again. Wants another penalty. Not going to get a second. And left to clear it away. Over the halfway line and out. For a throw in on this near side. Casper Michael is now charging out of his penalty area to keep Jamie Mackey and Martin Vasilevsky apart because Vasilevsky is furious at Mackey for trying to get a penalty. Well, he thinks he went down. There was obviously some contact. Not, not an awful lot. <laughs> I think the referee's got that one right as well, Dave. 25 minutes to go here on BBC Radio Nottingham 5 Live Sports Extra. David Jackson and John McGovern at the city ground where Forrest lead 2-1 and Leicester have had Paul Koczewski sent off as a, a uh, throw in for Forrest uh, for Leicester I beg your pardon Paul have gone out of play from uh, off the floor down the left wing to lap takes him about 10 yards further forward than he should flicks on and Vardy's inside the penalty area keeping Collins off him and then Collins gets an important tackle and away he goes onto the far side Forrest right back here with a little flick on it now by Eski brings it away towards the halfway line for Forrest just Checks back a little bit. Looks like the pace had some attack to it. But he just takes the sting out of it a little bit by rolling it back to Halford and now Lascelles. And back again to Halford. And all the way back to Carl Darlow. Edge of his six-yard box. Upfield towards Henderson. He doesn't win the header. Vasilevsky does for Leicester. Upfield it goes. Now Majewski to Reed for Forrest. Inside their own half. And Colin is the central defender across to Fox and left back. Fox back to Darlow again. And Forrest will once again build from the back. Here's Lascelles. Lascelles to Halford, far side, Forrest right. Cutting in field. Halford just carrying it forward over the halfway line and gives it Mackie ahead of him. Mackie so, loses control of it. Uh, under no pressure really. And it's a Leicester throw in 20 yards inside their own half. Yeah, a little two or three yard ball from Halford. They're a bit too close together to work anything but there's Lascelles under control with this one but under a little bit of pressure but plays a good ball out to Halford Halford then turning to play one down the wing and uh, it's won by the substitute ball but uh, straight to Forrest and now Leicester quickly in possession with Drinkwater Drinkwater with a uh, short pass to Liam Moore the substitute Drinkwater and then again up to Nugent and then Moore clips one forward it's uh, Lascelles who gets the header away to halfway. 
got a bit frantic in the middle like Dolby games so often do. There's a short pass forward by James straight to Yara, and now for Patterson and Forrest, they've got three in this attack. Patterson, it's got Majewski to his right, gives it to him, 25 yards out, Majewski, on his left foot, straight to Michael, and it's saved straight at him. But Patterson played the right pass, and Majewski from 25 yards out as the defender slips, hit it left footed, but straight at the goalkeeper, who had no trouble at all in stopping it. Yeah, it's an easy one for Schmeichel, you would have fancied Majewski to hit that with a bit more power. Um, nice early ball for him, from Patterson to give him time to line it up. But an effort that was easily shaped by Schmeichel. Patterson on it again, good feet again, but he's looking for somebody forward. He uh, managed to find Henderson inadvertently. He was offside, but <laughs> he's gone on. Reed to Yara, and now wide right for Halford, and Forrest just stretching the play a bit now, tries to make the extra man count. Halford has got Majewski ahead of him, tries to get a cross into the penalty area, it's blocked, and it's a Forrest throw, level with the edge of the penalty area, far side, Forrest right, and Greg Halford to take it, short to Majewski, gets it back again, the very, very tall right back, in playing as a central defender and a centre forward at times this season for Forrest, now here's Fox. On the other side, Clippy one into the penalty area, Mackey brings it down under control, does really well. Back to goal though, turns, tries to get a ball into the area, flicks off more up in the air, outside the box, it falls down to Patterson, first time pass, wide right to Halford is a good one. And now Mackey back again to Halford, he decides to read, 40 yards out, dead centre Andy Reid. And he just plays it to Halford to his right, and now Yara has it. Yara again gives it Reid, who again gives it Halford. Yeah, the Forest fans want them to... Make some forward motion. Paxton's got it. Still goes back to Reed. Midway inside the Leicester half. And now it's come back even further to Fox at left back. Just inside the Leicester half. 69 gone. Oh, Fox is uh, tackled by Vardy. And then the two get in each other's way again. But here's Nugent just left the counter attack. Nugent 25 yards out. Gives it wide right to the lap. It's behind him and he's out of play. And Nugent's furious. The lap's furious. There's a lot of arguments between players tonight. It's the red shirts and the blue shirts, and a curious debate there. You just said, well, you just should have stayed there and I would have given you the ball, and Delac said you should have knocked it in front of me. Danny Fox, in the end, he's booked uh, in hindsight for the earlier foul. He just allowed play to go on. As Nigel Pearson prepares to make a couple of substitutions, and we uh, are going to see Anthony Carcart going off. And uh, Riyad Mahrez coming on. That's the first substitution. The second one is uh, rather significant because Kevin Phillips is coming on in place of David Nugent to become the oldest outfield player ever to have played for Leicester City and can still do a job as well at the age of 40. From the substitutes bench. <laughs> yep, 40 years of age. It doesn't seem right that he's taking a younger man's place, but. That just means one thing, that we're not getting any better in that position. There's Majewski attempted to tackle somebody, but making a poor effort of it, and Drinkwater brings it away down the right wing. The lad, Richie, the lads, right on the byline, right hand side, it's cross, hits Fox, it falls again to the lad. Back out to Drinkwater, right edge of the penalty area, curls one end, Collins puts it away, and behind for a corner kick. Double substitution, with less than 20 minutes to go, just to add a bit of energy to 10-man Leicester from Nigel Pearson to give them a bit of a, a boost. And Kevin Phillips has uh, already become the oldest player to score for Leicester City since uh, joining them. Now becomes the oldest player, outfield player, to have played for them. And it's a corner for the Foxes. It's taken deep and it's headed away by Henderson, who is back helping out the defence. And that's a terrific bit of control from Patterson inside his own half. And then Crickwater gets back and makes the tackle and it's out for a forest throw in. But Jamie Patterson's control there. To stop the player up, he's got so much ability on the ball. Yeah, and he did the next best thing when he was outnumbered. He, he won a throw in for Forrest, 10 yards inside the Leicester half. There was nowhere for him to go, it was difficult. He's, he's, he's made sure the Leicester player ran it out of play. The uh, Forrest players edge of the pitch, getting some instructions from Ned Kelly because Billy Davis is watching the second half from the director's box in the main stand here. Uh, Fox, 25 yards inside the Leicester half, takes the throw to. Uh, Henderson, his first touch is poor though, and Leicester get it back, here is Phillips, back to drink water, 
Rolls it back again to Vasilevsky, edge of his penalty area, to his right is the lad, first time upfield, towards Vardy, Vardy heads it down to Phillips, Phillips helping it on towards Mares, and now Fox will clear the loose ball up to the halfway line, Henderson right on the left wing, and the pressure from Vasilevsky helps it further on, only to knock it out of play for a lesser throw in in a right back position, halfway inside their own half. Yep. Henderson needs a little bit better touch than that and a little bit better ball, but he's now chasing it down, but it's gone back to Schmeichel, so he should just pick this one up because he's going to get nowhere near it. Schmeichel out of his penalty area. Long. Collins wins the header. Yara helps it on. Reed then with a header. Majewski doesn't get there. Mares does. And Mares gives it short to James. James then on to Drinkwater. Drinkwater to uh, Riyad Mahrez, tackled well by Majewski for Reed, and then he picks out Patterson on a run down this left hand side, over halfway, Patterson's good running, he's got the ball to his right, and it looks like it was fouled by uh, the lad, the referee allowed play to go on, and now calls play back, and now looks for Richard Elas, and Forrest get a free kick, 40 yards out left of centre. Yeah, the lad can't complain about that one either, Patterson's got the run on him, he's played the ball in front of himself, and put his body between the lad and the ball, so unless the player thinking he can go through, Patterson to get to the ball, but uh, the referee, to be fair to him, hesitated to see if there, there was an advantage going for us where there wasn't, so Andy Reid will take this one. Yeah, it's actually a little nearer than that, it's about 35 yards from Casper Schmeichel's goal. Yeah, just on the left hand side of the field, so a uh, chance though for him to get one into the box. Halfers waiting in there, and it goes right to the far post for Celtic Seven. The header is then saved from. Uh, Collins has head, it's saved by Schmeichel. Lascelles was in just behind him, but it was Collins who got the header, but it was straight out Schmeichel who made a point blank save. 16 minutes to go, Forest 2, Leicester 1. And they bring it forward again to the team in blue. Here's Mares, a substitute for Leicester, flicking one in field to drink water. On again then, and he gets it back, drink water, trying to feed it through once again to Vardy. It deflects away, and then Carl Darlow just slides out of his six yard box to retrieve the ball for Forest. And uh, here on BBC Radio Nottingham on 5 Live Sports Extra, we're just over 15 minutes to go. Leicester City, top of the league, could be on their way to a first defeat in a couple of months. We're not counting a ticket yet. It could have been a goal down if Danny Collins had just been a bit more accurate with that header, David, because it's a great free kick by Andy Reid. He's got a free header. He's about six yards out, straight above the goalkeeper. Pity that one. It's good effort, but... Not quite good enough, certainly not good enough to beat the keeper of Schmeichel standing. It's uh, Fox going in for a challenge, left to get the loose ball though, it's Mahrez, edge of the penalty area, then it's trickery, pass free, trip, free kick, and that is 25 yards out, uh, halfway between the edge of the D and the corner of the penalty area, and uh, Mahrez and Matthew James both stand over it. Yeah, they've pinched a couple of yards, nobody's noticed that, the free kick was two yards further away from the edge of the penalty area, so a chance here for a shot on goal maybe. Riyad Mahrez might favour this left footed, but James is over it as well if he wants to clip one in towards the four Leicester players who are waiting on the edge of the penalty area. The wall is ten yards back, and it is going to be Mahrez left footed straight into the wall. Forrest had everybody back inside their 18 yard box, so when he bounces off Henderson up to halfway, he's easy for the lap to bring the ball under control, play upfield, and uh, Halford and then Majewski get a touch for Forrest, but only brought down then by Moore, who plays forward edge of the penalty area, Yara trying to get it away, now Majewski just getting away, and now Forrest can break it, numbers with Reed to the left of Patterson, and Patterson charging forward to Forrest towards the edge of the penalty area, flicks it in towards Mackie at the back post, and he's just too far ahead of him, flicks it with the outside of his right boot, Patterson, Mackie chases it and keeps it in play, back to Majewski, Majewski rolls it into Patterson, edge of the penalty area, right of centre, Patterson shoots, it's blocked, claims a foul ball by Sun, behind corner, kick will do for Forrest. Yeah, Patterson looked good unfortunate not to be able to find Mackie coming at the far post, but again when Mackie chased it and brought it back in, ball from Majewski to Patterson, took one touch and hit it so quickly that Leicester hardly had time to set themselves up, but it was deflected for the corner, as usual Andy Reid to take this one from the right, left footed in the swing. And Henderson in there, Lascelles in there, Halford in there, Collins in there, and Reid delivers it in. It's towards Halford who gets the header, it's high, it's over the crossbar, and it's uh, going to be a goal kick for the visitors. Yeah, just needed the slightest touch there from Halford, 
there's a very quick kick by Schmeichel, the great header by Fox. Yeah, back over the halfway line. The lats gets it. Forrest are going to bring Dan Harding on shortly. But uh, Leicester have possession at the moment down this right centre side foot with uh, Mares. Mares inside, back out again now for the lats on this right wing. It's gone out of play. Well, he uh, <laughs> looks like he's managed it. And waves his arms up in the air, but uh, it's gone out of play, so Forrest throwing. And now the Reds will make that substitution, and it's Fox who's coming off, and Dan Harding coming on. So, like for like, a left back for a left back, John McGill. Yeah, I'm not sure whether Fox has got a knock or sort of a yellow card situation. The manager's just being careful with him, David. You've always got to remember that. In a match where there's lots of pace on the opposition going around, you know, Fox doesn't want to be picking up another yellow card which would mean a red and then being suspended for games so Harding on for Fox and we think that's a tactical one yep certainly wasn't hobbling off uh, Harding with the throw down the wing here Patterson's brought it under control and now he's trying to get outside of the uh, much bigger figure of Vasilevsky Vasilevsky does get there plays it away but off Patterson's boot so Leicester get a throw in deep in their own half the lap here's the man to take it so Leicester have uh, made their allocation of substitutions. They've also had a man sent off in this second half in the form of Paul Kincheski. And Forrest lead it 2-1. Here's the lap still with, with it for Leicester down there. Right, plays upfield field to the halfway line. We give it Majewski. And now smash forward though by Drip Morton who gets the loop ball. Darlow's out to the edge of his penalty area. And he's gone down and he challenged with Vardy. No free kick given. But Collins gets the loop ball and clears it away. Then Majewski just it, it stood to touch the ball back to Yara. Yara now for Harding. Harding on halfway up to Henderson. Henderson controls it, gives it back again to Harding. Tries to stab one forward, it's high. And drops for the lap to uh, head forward for Leicester. Off Henderson, feet, he can't bring it under control. And it's a Leicester throw in again. This last 11 minutes is going to be rather frantic. It's, it's cup tie like. Well, there's going to be a few people on the edge of the seats, that's for sure. Uh, just before that, Darlow looked as if he'd certainly been fouled, but. No foul was given, and Darlow wasn't happy about that at all. A real rough challenge on him by Vardy, but the referee gave nothing. Vardy sensing maybe another opportunity. And then it's all came courtesy of a mistake by Darlow, coming to the edge of his penalty area. Forrest scoring two more before the break. That's the score, as it is at the moment. Here's the last halfway line, this near side, left and right. Clips one up to towards the edge of the Forest penalty area. It's helped on. Lascelles just touches clumsy, and it goes towards the corner flag where Riyad Mahrez will just let it roll out of play. He'll take the throw. He's straight to Drinkwater inside the penalty area. It goes down under a challenge for Patterson, and a penalty is given. Well, that looks rather soft as Patterson went in behind Drinkwater, and Leicester are going to have the chance to bring it back to 2-2 with 10 minutes remaining. Well, Drinkwater's just gone down. There was no real contact with Patterson in that one. The referee's given the penalty straight away, as he did in the first half when Mackie went down. With I thought that was more justified. Uh, to add to Forrest's woe, Halper's just got a yellow card for protesting that there was no, that wasn't a penalty. Um, it looked so soft, and I, I couldn't believe the referee actually gave a penalty there. No. Kevin Phillips has placed the ball. He's taken one or two penalties in his career. And Kevin Phillips, Carl Darlow roughly half his age will be the man to try and stop it for Forrest. Forrest leading 2-1. It'll be a short run up for Kevin Phillips. Four left uh, and Darlow dives to try and save it. The rebound though will surely be touched in. Yes it is. It is the substitute Riyad Mahrez who's made it 2-2 from just a few yards out. But Darlow made the first save diving away to his right but it was touched back into the six yard box and Mahrez on as a sub just push it into the back of the net. It's 2 2, and we have got nine minutes remaining. Well, that's unlucky on Darlow. A great diving save to his right, but I'm afraid Leicester reacted more quickly than Forrest did to the magnificent save by the goalkeeper. Well, Forrest are now going to have only another eight minutes or so to. Uh, try and win this game because he's back at 2-2 Darlow has done all he could diving full stretch to his right to stop the penalty here's Majewski for Forrest from the uh, retake and clips forward straight through though for 
Michael. Well, you feel sorry for Darlow in that situation, John. Well, you do, because it's a magnificent save. I mean, it's hit with real power by Phillips, and he's dived to his right, beating it away. The ball gets crossed back into the middle immediately by a Leicester player, and there's, there's another Leicester player that gets to it again. So, after his save... Here's back here away, over halfway for Forrest. Now the right hand side, still going towards the edge of the penalty area, right wing Mackey, inside the box he goes, towards the byline, cuts back, and there's uh, nobody there, he tracks back and gets the ball himself, gives it Yara behind him, now for Majewski, Majewski, back to Halford, and leaves it to Yara, who plays it over onto this near side, Forrest left foot, down to Harding, Harding, down the left wing towards Patterson, touched out a play by the last Forrest throw in. Yeah, Forrest trying to get it moving again, Henderson, into the penalty area, back to Harding. Oh, no. it's behind him, and it's a left of row, and the Forest fans are getting frustrated. Uh, lots of misunderstanding again. Harding's run forward. Patterson, and, uh, sorry, Henderson thinks he's just going to stay where he is, and I'll give it him back. But it gives the ball back to Leicester and just frustrates the Forest fans, who I think were very, very angry at that penalty decision. Obviously, Greater pundits than ourselves will have had ten replays on the television screen, but you give an instant decision, it looks a soft one to me, and I'm going to stick with that. Yeah. Certainly did look soft, and the referee was quite a bit away from it as well, but uh, there's no real motion by Patterson towards the left to play. That's, that's, you know, and he's just thrown himself to the ground. So here's Patterson again, down the left, halfway inside the left to half. Patterson, he's got uh, Harding offering him a bit of help up there now, and then Patterson... Played. <laughs> it looked like he should have got a corner off the lap, but the referee decides that it came off Patterson's boot last, and it's a, a goal kick. A little bit frustrating now because the Forest fans know the opposition are down to ten men, but you know they're still a dangerous side with an awful lot of quality out there. They've proved that by getting themselves back on level terms. Um, the 39 minutes gone is going to be nail biting from all sets of fans till the end of this game. We've only got six minutes to go. Or BBC Radio Nottingham, five large sports extra, both teams protecting and beaten records. And the score at 2 2. It's cleared up field here by Vasilevsky. Harding with the header inside towards Reed, but Leicester get it back again. Here's Barrett rolling a short pass forward to bring water. Halfway inside the forest half, right hand side. He's got Phillips wanting it into the penalty area. Phillips gets it back again to bring water inside the box. He shoots and tracks it across goal. That was a great opportunity for drink water to get a third for Leicester City. He gave it to Phillips, got it back again, and from that position, he should have hit the target. Thankfully, he didn't. Yeah, drink water. Missed the target at the far post. But again, the ball into Phillips. He's taking the return. No Forrest defender's got anywhere near him. So Forrest caught out once again by the ten men. Uh, Morgan and Henderson have both gone down here. And the referees decided to uh, do nothing about it. So the ball's gone into uh, the feet of Kasper Schmeichel upfield, he goes over the halfway line, Yara brings it down, Majewski and now Reed in the centre circle for Forrest, he's got Harding to this left hand side as Forrest prepare to bring Rafik Jabor off the bench, here's Reed, Reed to Yara, Yara spreading the play, it's an ambitious pass from the centre spot by Bright and it's uh, out for a Leicester throwing, 12 yards or so from their corner flag, so Jabor is uh, going to be coming on in place of Andy Reid for the final five minutes. Well, obviously, Jabot is a striker. You need a goal. He would, I thought he would have brought up Andy Reid, the creator of so many goals this season, but maybe just the fresh legs. Andy Reid himself, not very happy about it. But the fresh legs of Jabot perhaps will just provide something different up front. Forrest have struggled this half to really create clear cut chances and. Sometimes as a manager you just make a decision, he might just do something the opposition aren't expecting. Let's hope he's right. Here's Yara, centre circle for Forrest. Forward to Mackey. Back then to Lascelles and again Mackey now has a bit of time to uh, turn, a bit of space to run into as well. Gives it Halford to his right. Majewski's inside of him. Here is Majewski. On again now to Yara, dead centre, but 35 yards from goal. Yara chips one into the box, and that's uh, aimless from Yara. Stand out for a goal kick. You can't help but think, if 
that'd have been really tough, isn't it? Shouldn't it still was on the pitch, the delivery might have been better, but maybe that's being a bit ticky job. Well, before they were patient, David, you know, but on that occasion, you know, Yardas found himself on the ball and decided, oh, I've got to chip that one, but it didn't go anywhere near a red shirt, and it was almost as if he'd run out of ideas. Well, just keep your foot on the ball. Don't, don't do anything until you see an opening, and for that patience, that, you know, it helped them get back in the game in the first half, and a little more patience there would have retained possession. So, ten man left at Perth, come back in this game, it's 2-2 two -two now. And uh, they have possession inside the Forest half with Mares, who is uh, under pressure from Patterson and Javor. Gets the ball away, and then Patterson is tackled by the Lat down this right wing towards Mares. Harding now gets it away for Forest over to the halfway line. The Lat's knocking it back up again. Yara has uh, fouled. Matthew James yeah, it's just run at the back of it. Free kick for Leicester, wide right, 35 yards out. Forrest have got two and a half minutes to try and re-establish their lead. 2-2. Two -two. And Maras, the scorer of Leicester's second, is over this free kick to deliver it in left-footed. Lascelles with a header away, six yards out. Drops towards Majewski. But uh, Matthew James gets there first, knocks it back to the lap and all the way back to his goalkeeper, but Jafor is chasing this all the way. Schmeichel, though, from his penalty spot, first time, boots it clear over the halfway line. Mares keeps it in play on this right wing, does well, turns in field as Mares towards the edge of the penalty area, feeding one through, and that's harmless. Easy for Carl Darlo. Darlo bowls it out, good ball to Yara. Yara carrying it forward, gives it to. Mackey back to go on the halfway line. First time all the way back to Halton. Forest fans wanted to go forward instead of backwards. Yeah, I don't think they're looking at patience now. They're looking to get that ball forward and try and get the winning goal so the, the Forest fans' hearts are in the right place. Yara gives it to uh, Collins to his left. Collins has got a bit of space. 40 yards from goal. Clips it into the area towards Henderson, but it's Morgan who gets the header away. Majewski will bring it down. In fact, he decides just to head it instead. He had all the space in the world. And gives it to his right back, Halford. And what more behind his right back, Halford? Back again now for Majewski. Four ahead of him. Five. If you, you count the man wide on the right, he flicks it forward now to uh, Henderson. Helped top, but away by Liam Moore. Forrest getting back again now with Halford. Into the final minute of the 90. Here's Yara. 2 2, the score of the city ground. Here's Rafi Jabor, just on as a substitute turn. 35 yards out, Jabor. And. Just rolls it to this left hand side for Harding. Back to Collins and now Raddy Majewski for Forrest. 35 yards out. He's about everything ahead of him. Chips it over the top for Jabor. And it's behind him. And it's a goal kick. Jabor applauds the attempt to pass. The supporters are in no such mood. It's a goal kick. Yeah, difficult to get that one to Jabor. Uh, the ball was played behind him in any case, so he couldn't reach it. Desperate to get there. Desperate to get a goal, Jabor. He's joined the club. Only been on in a couple of games, but like all strikers, wants to get in front of goal with the chance. We've got four more minutes to play here at the City Ground. The fourth official just indicating that's the amount of stoppage time we'll have in the East Midlands derby. David Jackson and John McGovern here, hoping to bring you a fifth goal, and hoping that fifth goal falls to the team wearing red. Here's Jabal winning it just inside his own half, and uh, then he's like he's got it wrong and late on uh, Mahrez. Referee eventually makes that decision and gives the free kick left his way. The ball is just helping him up, who uh, scored on his debut for Forest from very, very close range against the Oval. And uh, start of the next couple was uh, rather more ineffective, but was determined to have an impact on the closing stages of this game against Leicester City. Yeah, free kick though Leicester have. Yeah, because of the scoreline though, he's come back in a defensive position, but this one from Drinkwater surely an assailant of the Forest box. Forest have everyone back again. And uh, Brinkwater clips it up towards the edge of the penalty area. Mares brings it down. Wanted to get a shot in from uh, uh, 18 yards out. I beg your pardon. It was Leah Bora from defence who uh, got that shot in. And it was a long way off target. No danger. Yeah, surprising he still managed to even get a shot on target there. But he was under pressure from Henderson, so the shot went well over the top. So, time running out. All the coaching staff looking at their watches. <laughs> Hoping that it's exactly the same time on the referee's watch. But it's a fascinating game, and you've seen the, the goods and the bads of both sides. A lot of quality from both sides, but a lot of mistakes as well that brought goals. Darlow upfield to ball for header. 
Uh, finds Harding behind him, and now Mayer can create a little flip to Javor, 30 yards out, Javor towards the edge of the area now, shoots it, deflects it out as far as Yara, oh, his first to Javor, and gets it straight to Liam Moore, and Leicester bring it away out on the far side, that was frustrating because it fell to Yara, he had a bit of space now, hello, from Leicester City all the way down the left, good run by Vardy, all the way from his own half down the left wing, but uh, he's running out of play eventually, Forrest throw it, Taken short by Halford to Lascelles. Halford gets it back and now Majewski has plenty of space but deep inside his own half. Gives it Collins to his left. Forest fans urging their team forward to try and get a winner against their local rivals. Gives it Harding to his left. Back now again to Collins as the Forest fans want them just to get it forward as quickly as they can. We've played two and a half minutes as the fourth stoppage time. Collins goes cross field, intercepted by Moore and then just smashed forward then by Jamie Vardy. Carl Darlow out of his penalty area, collecting this ball well out of his penalty area. 40 yards from his own goal now, Darlow, as he plays this one high, hanging to the edge of the penalty area. De Henderson doesn't win it, Morgan does. Now here's Yara to Majewski, Halford, 40 yards from goal. Plenty of red shirts waiting for a delivery edge of the penalty area. There's Henderson, he's over him. Patterson, though, at the back post, tries to block it, get it in. Plays the handball, not given, loft and over by Patterson. And Schmeichel shadows it all the way. Referee looks like he got a touch of Forrest get a corner. Schmeichel can't believe it. But Forrest get a corner in the fourth minute of stoppage time at the end of this game. Well, I think Forrest are fortunate to get this one. But they'll take it. From the far side, they have just about everybody forward. Leicester have everybody back. In it goes. And it drops to uh, Lascelles with a header on. It might fall to Patterson. Instead, it's played uh, across by Jabour on the overhead kick towards the penalty spot and cleared away. There's Yara out onto the far side. Forrest right played in. Halford with a little flick on. And it just rolls harmlessly through to Casper Schmeichel, who in the final 15 seconds launches a long one up towards Marez. Marez back to goal. Taken off him uh, by Collins. And it's out for a throw in on this near side. Uh, Leicester City's right. We've now played the four-minute stoppage time at the end of this game with the score at Forest 2, Leicester City 2. They'll have a throw with Richie Delat. And that may well be just about the last bit of action we see. Referee Anthony Taylor does decide that that is enough. It's been an eventful 90 minutes here at the City ground. And spoils even at the end of it. Forest extends their unbeaten league run to 14. Leicester extends theirs to 12. It's two draws in a row for them. And Forest, in fifth place in the championship, will take great heart from a 2 2 draw against the league leaders, Leicester. John McGovern. Yeah, this was a tough match in a lot of ways for Forest. And one or two tough decisions had to be made by the referee, but you're playing against the team that's running away at the top of the league. You end up 2-2, and despite them being down to 10 men in the second half, and actually getting a goal in the second half, um, it's one of those matches where you haven't lost. I think your supporters are fully behind you. And again, I just must say that with the injury list for us, we've got this is another good result from them in a way. We'd love to have beaten Leicester tonight. We can always keep them you know, strongly on the hunt for the second automatic position, but I don't think they disgrace themselves at all. And for saying they scored two goals against them, and you know, at one stage looked as if they might have won the game. Um, I'd be pleased with the players out there today. Should they have won the game? Though? They played the last half an hour against ten men. Yeah, but ten men don't mean anything. It's honestly, but they were two one up against <laughs> ten men. God, yeah, two one that, up at the time. What yeah. they do is close the game out. Yeah, but that can happen. I mean, they haven't, they haven't closed a lot of games out this season, David. And you know, that's been one of the problems. You know, when they've been one nil up, waiting to play the game out. I mean, to be honest with you, they've, they've tried to go forward in the the last sort of. 10 or 15 minutes of the game, but uh, you have to give some praise to this Leicester team. You know, they're not at the top of the league for no reason. They're not points ahead of everybody for no reason. They've got a lot, a lot of quality there and a lot of depth and quality. Forest have got depth and quality, but there's half of them missed through injury today. If you include Hobbs in that, Hobbs, Vaughan, Lansbury, Corn, Wilson, you know, that's half a side of real quality. So to get a, a draw tonight, I don't think is a bad result at all. And I think they'll go to Burnley on Saturday in good heart rather than being disappointed. Yeah, thinking about taking the positives, you think of uh, Jamie Patterson who's just really growing into this season, isn't he? He scored again, another terrific header. That's uh, nine for him now in 11 games. And he is, he's just getting better and better, isn't he? Yeah, you wouldn't expect it, him to get headers, you know, week in, week out, but he obviously got one on Sunday. But his one tonight was absolutely brilliant because it has to be good because the corner's come in, it's got knocked to the edge of the penalty area, bounced up 
and he's got the full kind of weight of his body, all six and a half stone, I think he is, and powered it in the top corner for a great goal. Um, so, you know, he's on a real run of form, and it's great to watch him with his quick feet and his ability to go past players because even in the modern game at any league, there aren't many players that can go past players in a short space. He can do that. So, what an asset he's turning out to be. All he has to do now is go to Burnley and get a point there, and this will be a satisfactory week. Uh, they'll go to Burnley and win. <laughs> they'll, they'll upset the, uh, the form book and go to Burnley and win. I think they'll go confidently, David. That's one thing for sure, because, you know, if anybody's disappointed tonight that, oh, we didn't beat them with ten men, and, you know, I wouldn't be. I, I'd, I'd be thinking positively tonight. We're, we've drawn with a team that's top of the league with half a side out. I don't think that's a bad result tonight. John McGovern, thank you very much indeed on BBC Radio Nottingham, where Forest have got a point against the league leaders Leicester City here. They were a goal down. They uh, started brightly with Andy Reid firing a free kick just wide. Jamie Patterson having a good shot save, having cut in from the left. Danny Collins with a header, well saved by Peter Schmeichel, but then going a goal down just before the half an hour mark. Carl Darlow coming to the edge of his area, not getting a decent enough connection on it, and Jamie Vardy gobbling up the opportunity from 18 yards out, just slotting into an empty net. But Forrest got the equaliser on 39. Jamie Patterson with a powerful header from just inside the penalty area. Andy Reid's right wing corner headed out towards him, but Patterson powered the header back in and into the top corner. Jamie Mackey was fouled inside the area just a few minutes later by Wes Morgan. Andy Reid smashing in the penalty to Schmeichel's left to give Forrest a half-time lead. And it seems to still be going Forrest's way 15 minutes into the second half when Koncheski was given a straight red for a foul on Jamie Mackey, but it was Leicester who got back into it in the end. Patterson adjudged somewhat harshly to a foul. Danny Drinkwater inside the penalty area, and although Carl Darlow dived to his right to terrifically save Kevin Phillips' penalty, the ball was turned back into the six-yard box, and there was the other substitute, Riyad Mahrez, to slot in from uh, just a few yards out for 2-2. So a point for the Reds, and they go to the other side in the automatic promotion place as Burnley of the weekend. It's finished here at the city ground. Forest 2, Leicester 2.